Hi, it's Chris, and welcome to the ColecoVision High Score Throwdown. This episode, we're looking at Space Panic from 1982. Space Panic was developed by Universal and was released in the U.S. arcades in 1980. You play as a spaceman against the cunning space monsters out to get him. Make the spaceman dig holes in girder floors to trap the monsters, then quickly fill them over and make the monsters fall through to their doom. But be careful, some monsters must fall more than one floor to meet their fate. Race your spaceman along girders and up and down ladders to avoid them. Can you eliminate all the space monsters before your oxygen runs out? The joystick controls the spaceman's movement. The left fire button digs a hole, while the right fire button fills in the hole. The keypad has no function in the game. When the oxygen meter at the bottom of the screen runs out, the spaceman will die. When you clear a level, the remaining oxygen is added to your score as a bonus. Skill level 1 has the player starting with 5 spacemen. Skill levels 2 through 4 have the player starting with 3 spacemen. Only one bonus life is awarded at 5,000 points, and not after. Scoring is based on dropping the monsters through the floor. The more floors they fall through, the higher the points they are worth. Also score points by dropping monsters on top of each other from the floor above. For the ColecoVision High Score Throwdown ending the week of September 5th, skill level 2 is being played. So what do we think of Space Panic by Universal? Space Panic was one of the 12 launch titles for the ColecoVision in August of 1982. It is one of the titles that shows Coleco's ongoing push of bring the arcade home by grabbing the home rights to any arcade machine Atari hadn't already secured. 10 of the 12 ColecoVision launch titles were arcade ports, and for some players, the ColecoVision releases were the wider exposure to some games developed by Universal and Exidy. Space Panic is an odd game. It has some early platform characteristics in climbing ladders and falling through holes to escape enemies. The soundtrack is basic, and the monsters are not scary at all. The primary monster, called Creature, is actually kind of an endearing little red blob with googly eyes. It reminds me of the beach ball alien from John Carpenter's film Dark Star from 1974. The only panic that ensues in the game is when you get yourself stuck in a corner and there's no way to escape from the monsters and the spaceman dies. The game mechanic of digging holes and dropping the monsters through would be built on in a much better way and inspire Load Runner, published by Broderbund. Load Runner would get a ColecoVision port of the MSX version in 2013, developed by Collector Vision. Check it out to see a much better implementation of the digging game mechanic on the ColecoVision, and frankly, most other early 8 bit computer platforms of the 1980s. The primary push on Space Panic is to quickly climb to a higher level and start dropping the monsters. There is a little thrill the first time you drop a monster on top of another, especially if it is a Don, the blue monsters, or a boss, green monster. The work required to prep multiple levels of holes and lead monsters into them for a multiple level drop seems like far too much work for a bigger score. As I played the game and I started to get to Dons and bosses, I really had no desire to dig all the holes and worked on timing to drop them a single level onto another monster for the kill. Spaceman also has a slight problem with where he can dig. You have to be off of a ladder and over by a bit before you can dig, and this feels a little clunky. Space Panic has basic graphics that are bright and colorful, and sound that is acceptable, but not really impressive. It is a very accurate representation of the arcade machine by Universal. Space Panic is also available on the At Games ColecoVision flashback. Graphics have a brighter punch to them, but the screen is pushed in a little bit due to how the flashback is rendering the ColecoVision video display.
Of the 12 launch titles for the ColecoVision, I find Space Panic to be the most underwhelming. There is so little reward to the player that after playing a few rounds, you really don't feel drawn in for the just one more game. Figuring out the play mechanic takes a few tries, but there isn't enough to really reward the player to do that. Space Panic is just not a very good game, and it has not aged at well either. It gets a solid D. So grab your copy, turn on your ColecoVision Phoenix or Flashback or even an emulator and go run up some ladders and dig some holes. Until next time, game on! Ha <laughs> ha